Asnes keeper Pere Emerig Bamerang scored twice to help his side secure a 2-1 win over Chelsea in the 2019-2020 English FA Cup final match on Saturday. The win helped them to a record extending 14th crown in the competition and a sport in next season's UEFA Europa League. Victory at an empty Wembley Stadium and Mikel Ateta, his first trophy as Arsenal manager. Well, big games require big moments for big plays, and he's delivered that in the semi final and he's done it again in the final. And that's why you ask about those players. Some of them were questioning that he could not do it in big games. There we go. It was a big, big part on delivering this trophy. So he's done it, and we are so proud to have a player like him in our squad. <laughs> yeah, it can happen. I think it happened a few years back as well. He needs more experience with trophies. You know, we can get him used to that. <laughs> I had only one mission when I came here, and it was to, to make the players and the staff believe that we could do it. And we had to change that energy and that mentality. And just by seeing them in the dressing room all together, the way they enjoy now the profession and, and, in, and the time together, it's what it makes me more proud. And it's a consequence of, of that, that after we can achieve things that we can win titles. The top class player and uh, the second goal is the sort of speed and quality of a player of his level that wins games like this. Um, we didn't play great today for us, but of course we competed in the game and had our chances. But moments like that from Aubameyang obviously finish you off. We shouldn't become too stuck on today. Of course we are tonight. We need to look at the season um, as a whole and what, what we've managed to do to come where we came in the league. It's a huge plus for us. Um, today would have been in the ice and the cake if it, it wasn't to be. To talk more on the win, we are joined by Ben Omage, CEO, Creative Director, Sila Productions, Sila Pro Limited. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, did you see this win coming? Um, yeah, um, it's predictable because... Um, they have actually worked hard, I mean, the Arsenal team. And um, uh, given the, the precedence uh, to the final, uh, you, you would say that um, they had it planned. Arteta did his work right, and um, Arsenal had a game plan which to follow through. And uh, yes, of course, uh, it's, it's, it's coming, it's coming, and uh, it happened. Has uh, Aubameyang proven himself as a big game winner for Arsenal? Oh, yes, of course, he has. Um, um, he had, uh, we had the, uh, the opposing team, he was saying, uh, Lampard, the coach of the opposing Chelsea team, he, he said clearly that um, he's a big game uh, winner, a big game player. Uh, for a player of that magnitude, uh, they're always uh, geared up for such a game as the final of the FA Cup. You, you see, um, he, he had 22 goals in the league and um, uh, as many goals in the FA Cup. So, yes, um, he's a big game winner. And uh, I hope that they can retain him at, 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 at Arsenal and um, see how that um, goes for them. Yeah, so yes, he is. Uh, do you see him remaining in Arsenal after this win? Uh, that's that's a big, big debate. It's a big debate uh, because many clubs already hang in the fringes. Uh, we've heard uh, several beats from several clubs, though on, on the call. Um, I think... Um, he would struggle to make a decision. But as to if Arsenal could keep him, maybe they could let a few players go uh, on the transfer window as it opens. And um, that will retain um, uh, him. But if they can pay him, that's another thing because it's, the wages are high and um, they need a player like that going into the European Cup. And uh, they need a player like him to, to retain the standards and maintain goal scoring uh, um, uh, uh, for them. So yes, if they can do that, that'll be fine. But it's it's really dicey, and because we have offers from Barcelona, offers from PSG, all in the fringes. So uh, it's it's a real difficult one for them. So let's see what they can do. But <laughs> but they have to do all they can to keep him. They really need him at Arsenal. Oh, still talking Arsenal beating, uh, beats uh, the new Premier League champions Liverpool and ending Manchester City's hope of retaining the FA Cup uh, by beating them to reach the final. Do you see Arsenal doing well in the European uh, football come next season, next session rather? Exactly. exactly. Um, they have to check their background. Uh, I'm talking about the defence. Uh, uh, Arteta who needs to do a lot of work. 
uh, getting new players in and letting some old players go. Uh, those tired legs have to be strengthened. Um, I believe that um, the, the team uh, player of, uh, in the midfield, uh, that that's quite good enough. Um, then strengthening the wings. Uh, I think um, Pepe is just not enough uh, to support uh, the supply to Obama Yang, uh, like I said. So I think that they should have more buying uh, to do. They have more buying to do, sorry. And they need to, to get more players into the team to beef it up before they can contend against the likes of uh, uh, Arsenal, um, sorry, um, Barcelona, Juventus, and, and, and others in the Champions League and the Europa Cup that they're going to, yeah. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Ben Omage, for your time and your thoughts. Thank you so much for having me.